Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to back up and restore your important data and programs in Linux Mint. And I'll be using a backup program called Deja Dupe. It's important to back up your data and programs regularly, so if something does happen, you'll be able to recover from it quickly. It's also important to save your backups to something other than the drive that your operating system is installed on, such as an external hard drive or a flash drive. And I'm going to go to the menu. And in the search box, I'm going to type Deja, D-E-J-A. Next, I'm going to click on the install package, Deja Dupe. If this doesn't come up for you, go to the software manager, type in Deja Dupe, double click on the Deja Dupe application. When the program appears at the top of the results list, double click on it and then click on the install button. And I'm going to click on the button now. And then I'm going to click on install. says all changes have been applied so I'm going to close the window and now I'm going to go back to the menu and then to applications all and then to backup change your backup settings underneath it there's the backup tool which is another backup program I'm just going to uninstall that by right clicking on it and clicking uninstall only because I prefer Deja Dupe over the backup tool and the application has been removed successfully so I'm going to close this and I'm going to go back to the menu and now Deja Dupe is the only backup tool so I'm going to open it and when it opens you have two options I want to restore files from a previous backup or just show my backup settings I'm going to click on just show my backup settings it'll open to the overview tab here's where you can set your automatic backups right now mine is turned off so I'm going to turn it on my backup location is Deja Dupe Mint on Ubuntu 1. Folders to backup is the home folder, and the folders to ignore is trash and downloads. The most recent backup was none, and next automatic backup is today. Down below it says old backups will be kept until the backup location is low on space. And now I'm going to go to the storage tab. Here you can select where you want your backups to be stored. I'm going to select my flash drive. You could also designate a folder. I'm going to leave that blank. I'm going to go to folders. Here you can select what folders you want to have backed up and what folders you want to have ignored during the backup. Right now my home folder is set to be backed up and the folders to ignore are the trash and downloads folders. If you wanted to add a folder you just simply click on the plus button and select a folder and then click open and now the new folder is also in the backup area I'm going to remove this next I'm going to go to schedule here's where you can set how often your backups run right now it's set to weekly you can also have it set to daily every two weeks and monthly you can also configure how long to keep your backups for right now it's set to forever there's a month two months three months six months and a year and I'm going to go back to overview and I'm going to click on the backup now button it's asking if I want to require a password to restore the backup and I'm going to click on allow restoring without a password and continue and the backups completed so I'm going to close this next I'm going to open my flash drive and these three here are from the backup so I'm going to close this I'm going to go back to the menu back to backup and before I run a restore I'm going to open the home folder and I'm going to take all the folders and drag them into my documents folder and then I'm going to move my documents folder into the trash and I'm going to close this and now if I open my home folder again, it's empty. Now I'm going to click on restore. It's asking me where my backup is located. It's on my flash drive. So I'm going to click forward. 
is asking me when I want to revert back to and I'm going to leave the date set and I'm going to go to forward and I'm going to leave restore files to original location you could also select a different folder to restore the folders to and I'm going to click forward under summary it says the backup location is my flash drive the restore date was today and the restore folder is the original location I'm going to click restore and while it's doing this I'm going to open the home folder we should start seeing folders appear there they are and it says restore is finished your files were successfully restored and we can see that right here and that's how you back up and restore files and programs in Linux Mint thank you for watching have a great day